Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today's project uses a super fine yarn. I'm using this acrylic yarn called Indofil which you can find in the Philippines. You will also use a 3.5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, three buttons, and a thread. If you're new to my channel, hello there, my name is Kath and I make crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please hit like, comment down below, and subscribe. To begin, we will make a slip knot. And we're going to work up a chain from the armpit down to the waistline. For my size, that will be a total of 42 chains. Once you have the chain, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, as well as for the rest of the chains. End of row one. You will start row two with a chain of three and turn your work. Now for this row, we're going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet in the next stitch. After that, we're going to double crochet back into the stitch that we skipped. So yarn over and insert the hook into the stitch that we skipped. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. And that is a cross double crochet stitch. And we're going to repeat that same stitch again. So skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. And again, work a double crochet back into the stitch that we skipped. We're going to repeat this same stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're going to work a double crochet as our last stitch into the third chain or the top chain of the turning chain 3. And that completes our row number two. Moving on with row number three, we're going to chain one. Chain one here does not count as a stitch and turn your work. And for row three, we're going to single crochet into each stitch. Here I just finished row number three. After this, we're going to repeat row number 2 and row number 3 until our panel will completely wrap around our chest. So just make sure that you will end with a cross double crochet row and not with a single crochet row. Here I have my panel. I have about 92 rows in total and I have here my last row which is a cross double crochet. Now we're going to continue with a chain of three and work a double crochet in each of these stitches before we start seaming or connecting both of our ends. So chain three, double crochet into each stitch. Next, we're going to connect both of these edges using a slip stitch. fasten off and cut the yarn and from here we're going to connect the yarn into any of the single crochet row in the bottom part and we will start our ruffles here now once you have your yarn attached in the single crochet row we're going to chain three chain three here will count as one stitch or one double crochet now on the next row, which is a cross double crochet row, we're going to work 3 double crochet. Next, work 1 double crochet in the single crochet row. And again, 3 double crochet in the next cross double crochet row. And this will be the sequence that we will repeat all the way around the 
bottom part of our top. When you get to the double crochet row here, you're going to work three double crochet as well. And do the same thing for the next double crochet row. After this, you will continue with the sequence. And once you get to the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Now do not turn your work. We will continue with round or row number 2 with a chain of 3. Chain 3 here will count as 1 stitch. And we have here our 3 double crochet stitches. Now what we're going to do is do a double crochet in the next stitch. And on the middle stitch, we will do an increase. So every time we will work our stitches in the middle stitch of the three double crochets, we will be placing an increase there. So starting with this one, we will do two double crochet instead of one. And this will be our increasing stitch. So one and two. So, and on the next stitch, on the third stitch, third double crochet, we will just do one double crochet. Work one double crochet as well in the next stitch, the stitch where our single crochet row is. Again, another double crochet in the first stitch of the three double crochet. And we are now here in the middle stitch, so we will do an increase. So just remember to place one double crochet in each stitch except for the middle stitches. On the middle stitches, you will be working two double crochet increase. So keep on working this sequence until you get to the end of the round. At the end of the round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. And do not turn your work. Continue with round number 3 starting with a chain of 3. Chain 3 will count as 1 stitch and work 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Now if you can see here we have our increasing stitches. We have these 2 double crochets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work an increase on both of those stitches. So place your first increase in the first stitch or the first double crochet. That's one and two. And your second increase in the next stitch. So for this round, we will only increase in the increasing stitch from the previous round. So continue working one double crochet in each stitch except for the increasing stitch. On the increasing stitch, we will place two double crochet on both of those stitches. You're going to repeat this sequence all the way around. End of round 3, we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Do not turn your work and chain 3. And from here, we're just going to do a double crochet for each of the stitches. So no increases for round number 4. the end of round number four we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three and we're going to repeat again round number four until you have a total of six rounds or until the length that you prefer now with the front of the project facing you we're going to attach the yarn into any of the single crochet row in the upper right corner of our top this will be our strap and from here we will work our sleeves now you're going to work a chain that will go all the way over the shoulders and towards the back of the top and later we're going to connect this at the other side of our work for my size that will be a total of 58 chains without twisting the chains we're going to slip stitch in the single crochet row at the back of our work and turn your work now from here we're going to start our sleeves starting with the lower part of our armhole 
we're going to work our stitches all the way around and we will connect that on our first stitch so begin with working two single crochet into the cross double crochet row one single crochet in the single crochet row and repeat that for the rest it will work as well one single crochet in each chain and when you get to the end of this round we will slip stitch into the first single crochet and again do not turn your work continue in round number two starting with a chain of three and we will do one double crochet into each stitch all the way around At the end of the round, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3. Do not turn your work again. Repeat round 2, double crochet in each stitch until the length of your sleeve will go just at the tip of the shoulders. For my size, that will be 8 rows of double crochet in total plus one single crochet row from the beginning that makes it 9 rows or 9 rounds in total. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this row or this round the provision for our eye cord so to begin continue with a chain of three chain three again will count as one stitch and we're going to double crochet until we reach the upper part or the middle part of our puff sleeve in the center so work a double crochet into each of those stitches until you get to the middle part of these sleeves here i just finished this part i'm now at the upper part at the middle of my sleeve we're going to chain one and skip the next stitch and continue with one double crochet in the next stitch as well as for the rest of the stitches and at the end of the round we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three and continue our last round with a chain of three chain three will count as one stitch and on the same stitch on the same chain we're going to do two double crochet in there so that means we will have a total of three stitches in one stitch One, and two double crochet now continue working three double crochet in each stitch all the way around I just finished the last row of my sleeve we're going to slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain 3 fasten off and cut the yarn and I'm going to show you how you're going to do the eye cord for this part now to make the eye cord we're going to take our yarn and fold that in half so make sure that you take enough for this or the size that you will be making now we're going to do a slip stitch and insert the hook into the loop now from here we're going to divide our strands one is for the upper part and the other one is for the bottom part now wrap the bottom part into the hook and hold that in place and yarn over and pull through those loops that are in your hook and that will create our base for the eye cord again repeat the same thing wrap the yarn and pull up a loop again wrap the bottom yarn into the hook wrap the yarn and pull up a loop 
and you're going to keep on repeating this process until the length of your i-cord is enough for your size for my size that will be 7 inches next we're going to cut the yarn and secure this just going to create a knot right here cut out the excess and we're going to place this starting at the top of our sleeves the part where our chain one space is located and create a knot in there you're just going to place this the remaining of the cord all around the provision that we created earlier Now with your thread and needle, we're going to place our buttons in the front of our work. And when I say front, that is the seam that we did earlier for our panel. Friends, that marks the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and I will try my best to answer them. If you will make this top, please don't forget to tag me on social media at WhatAboutYarn. I would really appreciate that. Join this week's giveaway and grab the chance to get the PDF pattern of this top for free by answering the question below. If you like this video, please feel free to share them to your friends and to your family. Thank you so much guys for watching and as always, have a good day. I'll see you on the next video.